Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're getting a USB device not recognized error for your USB 3.0 port. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So, first thing you want to do is go ahead and open up the start menu. I'll click on the start button one time. Type in power options. One of the best matches should come back with power and sleep settings. You want to go ahead and left click on that. Underneath related settings on the right side, you want to left click on additional power settings. Underneath whichever plan is currently selected, you want to left click on change plan settings. So you might have multiple plans in here. You want to select whichever one is next to whatever plan selected and then select that respective change plan settings. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and left click on change advanced power settings. So let me scroll this over a little bit. Expand the USB selection, so click the little plus sign next to it. And then where it says USB selective suspend setting, you want to go ahead and double click on that. Setting, if it's currently enabled, you want to disable that, so just left click if it says enabled. Click inside the drop down, select disabled, and then left click on apply and OK. Once that's done, restart your computer and hopefully that's been able to resolve the problem. So once that's done, you can just go ahead and left click on power options up at the top bar of edit plan settings. Versus show additional plans. Now on the left side, you want to select choose what the power button does. And there might be an option underneath shutdown settings to turn on fast startup. I would suggest unchecking that and clicking on save changes if you're still experiencing the prompt and then see if that has resolved the issue. So I'll close out of here. Again, would suggest restarting your computer. If you are still experiencing a prompt, you can go ahead and open up device manager. So just open up start menu, type in device manager. Best match should come back with device manager here. Left click on that. Now you want to expand the disk. Now you want to expand the disk drive section, so either double click on it or left click on the little arrow next to it to expand it. Whatever's listed under here, you want to go ahead and right click on it and then left click on uninstall device. Left click on uninstall. You do not want to restart your computer now, just left click on no. And now you want to go to the universal serial bus controller selection, double click on it or again left click on the little arrow, whichever you prefer. If you see anything that says unknown USB device, you want to go ahead and right click and then uninstall the device. And if you see anything that just says USB mass storage device, you want to uninstall that one as well. So again, it should just specifically say USB mass storage device if it's under here. Otherwise, don't remove it. And once you're done with that, you want to go up to the action menu up at the top of the window here, left click on it, and then left click on scan for hardware changes. So just give it a moment to run here. So once that's done, I would suggest also going through all the universal serial bus controllers and then just updating the driver. So just search automatically, go through every single one of them in here. Hopefully that should resolve the problem as well. You can also go on to Intel's website and download the latest chipset drivers or whoever would be responsible for that. So there are different companies, however, most people are running Intel. So just keep that in mind but you know worth a shot and it could be AMD as well so click on close and just go through there and hopefully one of those should be able to resolve your problem for you so I do have this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out and as always thank you for watching and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye